What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Azus Ally gameplay video for you guys today, and today we're gonna have a look at Dragon Quest Treasures. Now, it ran absolutely great on the Steam Deck, but that was at 720p medium, just kind of the default settings. And it seemed like it was getting up to like 80 and like high 80s in the GPU usage, so I figured, eh, that's probably good. If I put it up to high, it probably won't be able to get 60 everywhere. So I was like, eh, this is one of those situations I think it probably figured it out pretty good, unless it just defaults to that on everything. A lot of games nowadays will go, oh, what can we, what do we think your shit can run? That's not perfect though, not perfect. But anyway, in this game, we're gonna probably just try maxing it out at 1080p on high settings and see if it can handle it. And if it can, well, then we'll just get some gameplay screen and camera. And if not, we'll do what we usually do and go through all like 1080p, 900p and 720p just for fun. But I have a feeling it should be able to do it, just barely. We'll see though, I could be very wrong. So let's stop blabbing and let's go hop ourselves into the game. All right, so. We're gonna do 1080p in this video. Now it did drop a little under 60 at one point in the game, but it made it waited until I was basically on camera recording gameplay to show me that. But until then, it was like 70 to 80 FPS. So that's why I didn't go through the 900p and 720p like I normally would. But anyway, to the game. All right, here we are, starting back off where we left off. Basically, let's get our freaking knife back here or dagger. slow moving so it's taken it like 20 minutes to get here almost not a lot of wind today though <laughs> well, I don't see any funnels or tornadoes coming at me so I think we're good Definitely gonna be time to turn some lights on here. Wow. It's getting pretty dark. In fact, I'm just gonna do that real quick right now. Huh? All right, there we go, much better. And it seems we have met a slime. That seems to be what they're trying to say. Oh, they're joining the party. So it's next to two lily pads. Ah, no wonder that other place I was trying to find it first one. Right? There's three there. Well, easy to notice that when you're just freaking sitting there watching yourself play. Yeah, there's three of them here, so that's why I couldn't have quit the treasure, because it wasn't ever here. <laughs> it's just like, oh, sweet treasure, and just keeps killing itself over and over again. Oh, that's great. All right, so yeah, see, there's two of them. I figured maybe the third one might be under the slime, too, so... I decided, all right, well, let's just look around and, like, go up this log and all that shit, just to make absolutely sure it's not just, like, up here or something. But it wasn't. Not to spoil anything. 
Damn, missed that. Can we go up this other one? I think we can make that jump. Okay, they can grab on the ledge. I was gonna say, if they can grab ledges. And it seems as though this one can. I do not think I can make that though, but I'm gonna try it. Nope, I didn't jump. I don't think I would have made it though, so I'm not gonna bother going back up. All right, let's go up here and see if we can't get a better look at the area. Oh, that looks like it could be over there. There's two. Let's try that one. Yep, there it is. A sparkling gem. All right, now we can hopefully get through this thing. Aww. Yep, the slime's got a solution. <laughs> Hell yeah, we I got like a slime missile. This is also a great time to move on. All right, now for some camera recording gameplay. have treasure in the name. Not gonna lie. Whatever you get done when you're reading one of these, it sounds like a smoke detector that's low on battery. Yeah, you 
usually it shows up in not being able to get 60 right away, so I can go, oh, well, I gotta go and go through all the settings, but at least it's very rare that it drops under 60 here, so I think we're safe. Guys, that's a wrap for Dragon Quest Treasures on the Asus Ally here. Now, it did drop a tiny bit under 60 when we got to that camp, but usually that'll rear its head way before I get that far along. So I ended up just saying, screw it, we're just gonna do camera recording gameplay here. But obviously, if you just put it on the medium settings like you did on the Steam Deck, it'd probably be 60 plus all the time, nonstop everywhere but it's not like 57 58 is that bad especially with a variable fresh rate screen but in any case though that is all i got for you guys for this particular video i hope you guys enjoy the video because i sure as hell enjoy making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys